Hello and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday with Tour Carnival. I'm Annabelle and today we have Main Street Executive Director Laura Wiseman with us. Laura, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're tickled to have you. Um, for those of you who might not know, Main Street is a wonderful organization here in Carnival that helps promote the square and has tons of really fun uh, events throughout the year. And we are so excited to get to kind of know you and a little bit more about the organization. Okay, well, so I've lived in Collierville for about six years. Okay. Um, my husband works for the town of Collierville, so that's what actually brought us here, and we oh, love nice. it. Um, we have two little children, and um, it's a great place to, to raise your kids and that's hang nice. out, um, a great family-oriented area. Yeah, and I was nice. actually on the board um, for Main Street Collierville for two years, okay. um, and then our former executive director left, and um, it was a, just a great opportunity for me to, to step sure. in. Sure. So I'm really excited to, to be here and to be at the helm. That's so wonderful. Tell me, how did you, when you first moved to Carnival, how did you first hear about Main Street? Well, um, I was good friends um, with a neighbor of mine, and her good friend, Sherry Kamuri, is uh, involved in everything in the community yeah. and, um, you know, kind of drew me in. And mm -hmm. um, the concerts on the, on the square, it was mm -hmm. a great opportunity for us to come and That's visit funny. the square and bring mm -hmm. our kids out and something to do for the mm -hmm. for during summer when there's nothing sure. a whole lot going on to do mm -hmm. I know it and for those of you who might be new and not heard of the concert series it's a wonderful way to kind of get to know people like you said mm -hmm. Sherry and and get involved in the community so mm -hmm. yeah yeah the concerts are gonna happen in June and July every yeah. Thursday with the exception of the week of 4th of July because right. the town has their big their thing big event. that's mm -hmm. right so and that actually the the lineup will be finalized sometime in the next few weeks Oh, um, so we'll be announcing that soon. We're really excited about some of the bands that, that we have selected. So. That's so exciting. I know it takes a, a village to get it all together, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I have a wonderful committee that, ha that helps. Oh. So you kind of touched on a little bit that you've held several positions since you've been with Main Street. When did you start? And kind of tell me about some of those positions that you held. Um, so I rolled onto the board um, two years ago. Um, okay. I was just a normal board member um, mm -hmm. for the first year. Um, I was the chair of our largest fundraiser, um, Taste of the Town, which happens in September in um, 2017. Yeah. And then um, last year I was the on the executive committee as the secretary. Oh, okay. Okay. And so. Um, they needed an interim executive director, so I mm -hmm. stepped up and said, okay, I'll do it, and then it just kind of fits, so here oh, I am. That's so great. That's <laughs> wonderful. Maybe you can kind of give us a better idea of, as an executive director, what those responsibilities kind of look like. Um, so, first and foremost, you know, mm -hmm. trying to find um, sponsors for mm -hmm. our different events. Sure. Um, we also offer memberships into Main Street Collierville, and so that's a great opportunity for mm -hmm. an individual or a business to get plugged in. Mm -hmm. um, we have quarterly mixers that we try to get all of our members together so they can network, you know, with different businesses, people from different fields, from different parts of Collierville. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, just as a liaison between the town mm -hmm. and the merchants and mm -hmm. kind of the community mm -hmm. um, that's that's a big part of it um, you gotta like to talk don't right. you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly which, which I do oh that's um, good so and, and I mean it's it's been great I've been executive director since um, February 1st so okay. I kind of hit the ground running oh yeah um, so it's been a great experience so far mm -hmm. so now that we're a few months into the new year um, kind of tell me what are some of the goals for 2019 for Main Street? Well, um, we have a, a great event coming up um, mm -hmm. on Good Friday called the mm -hmm. Easter Bunny Hop and Shop. And so with that, we're looking, it's a family friendly event, mm -hmm. um, but we also want to do an economic vitality piece, trying to get mm -hmm. people into the shops on the square. That's a, mm -hmm. that's a big focus um, of Main Street is, you know, preserving mm -hmm. and protecting the the, the square and making sure the businesses are you know people are coming and visiting people are spending money yeah. so they this so will stay right. um, preserving that's right. right that's a good right. word yeah um, and so then we have um, another event coming up called um, it's Fever 1878 and it's oh, a okay. tour okay. Um, we'll be using the double decker bus um, the Collierville so double decker bus we'll be doing a tour and information about yellow fever and okay. when and when it came through Collierville about that time 
Um, it's kind of a historical event then. Yes, yeah. which is which is what another piece that I kind of a goal of mine um, to have Main Street focus on is the there's so much history with the square and what took place in Carterville mm -hmm. and how Carterville came to be what it is today. Right. Um, and there's a wonderful lady that um, dresses up in as a character from that time and That's talks fun. about. I uh, know her her life then yeah. and then so they'll get on the bus and then go to Magnolia Cemetery and do a tour and then come back. How neat. So that'll be in May, May 10th and 11th. How fun. Okay, that sounds like a really good way too to <laughs> kind of learn a little bit about the history of Carnival. Right, which I think is very important especially if you're raising kids here, they need to know um, about where they're where they're, they're from and where That's they're right. living and um, Exactly. Oh, that's great. That sounds like some really good events that are coming up. Um, we touched on just a minute ago a little bit about memberships and getting involved. Maybe in your own words, kind of tell us what, again, Main Street really represents, the preservation that we kind of touched on. And then membership is for kind of anybody, right? Right, yes. You don't have to just be a business. You can be an individual who right. wants to get involved. So, right? yes, we have an individual membership, and that's $50, and then a business membership, which is $250, okay. and it kind of goes up from there. But it's a great way to get plugged in, help us, you know, do those events, put on the concerts, because without, you know, money from that, we, mm -hmm. we can't do the concerts, we can't um, do the preservation party. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of those benefits of being a membership? So for for the for the individual one, um, mm -hmm. you get your name listed on our website. Okay. You get invitations to these mixers to kind of help you, like I said, um, get plugged get in, plugged in yeah. and um, learn you know about other businesses and other things in the area. Sure. For the business members, especially for the ones on the square, mm -hmm. it's a really good opportunity because for the two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, half of that um, goes back into marketing dollars. Okay. So we have a real strong um, Main Street Business Alliance that helps plan other smaller events like the third Thursday we just had yeah. that was came out of the MSBA. Mm -hmm. And it also, is, again, it's economic vitality, just trying to drive people mm -hmm. into the stores and spending money and getting just people on the That's square. Right. Sure, absolutely. But for the other businesses outside of the square, again, we, we list your name on the website. You mm -hmm. have some other opportunities for recognition mm -hmm. um, and you know, the invitations to the to the mixers mm -hmm. and um, and like recognition on our Facebook page you have to be a member in order to get um, tagged on our Facebook page mm -hmm. just a fantastic way to really get plugged in if you really don't know a lot of people in the area um, sounds like a really good opportunity mm -hmm. to get to know everybody so you may have heard through conversation about the third Thursdays on the Square. Really fun event. And Laura, maybe you can tell us a little bit more sure. about what the third Thursdays are, what we can expect to see. Sure. Well, so the merchants and Main Street have gotten a lot of feedback about mm -hmm. the store staying open later. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the Main Street Business Alliance decided to try a third Thursday event. The third Thursday of every month, the, um, all the businesses will stay open um, later till 8 o'clock. There will be offering some um, specials at the restaurants, you know, sales on the stuff in the in the stores. Um, we might have some music floating around. Um, good opportunity if you work late. You're in exactly, and, and that's kind of the crowd we we were looking to to target. Just mm -hmm. because during the week the stores close at five, and so yeah. if you're work, if you work till five. Yeah, it's it's not a good it's time. not a good time. Sure. Um, and we are looking to maybe have the double-decker bus come um, to have photo opportunities, mm -hmm. maybe some prizes, some raffles if you hit each store. Um, but a great, great event. Um, and look for more information on the next third Thursday, which will be March 21st. And um, we're hoping to continue this throughout the year. That's so it's a great event to get people out yeah. when they usually don't have an opportunity to. That's right. Get out and shop the square. Exactly. Right. And eat and drink on the square. That's right. Eat and drink. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Exactly. Enjoy yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so maybe you can tell us, so somebody's watching the video and they're really interested in Main Street Carnival. They want to learn a little bit more. What's the best way to contact you or to reach out to the organization? So they can go to our website, www.mainstreetcarnival.org, or mm -hmm. they can send me an email at director at mainstreetcarnival.org, mm -hmm. or give me a call, 853-1666. Um, um, there's always opportunities for volunteers, mm -hmm. um, to be a member, any, and we're always looking for board members because mm -hmm. um, the, the commitment is three years, so we'll always have someone rolling off 
um, at the end yeah. of the year. Okay, that's good. So to there's know. lots of different opportunities if you want to be a sponsor, mm -hmm. you know, anything like you that. Too. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the volunteering. Is that something just for the events, or is that we we always need volunteers for events, um, especially if we, in in the summer if we have extra work like an intern yeah, sure. um, that would be fantastic oh, so, so kids if, students if, if you have a, there, if you're there. yeah if you're a college student looking for for something to do over the summer yeah. you know we like I said we're always looking for for bodies to help oh that's great that's wonderful well we certainly appreciate your insight and your time Laura it's been wonderful getting to know thank a little you. bit about you and Main Street as well thank you for having me absolutely and that's all the time we have for this two minute Tuesday with Tor Carnival um, again, I'm Anna Bell. Make sure to like us on Facebook and download our app at Tour Carnival uh, and stay in the know with what all is going on, like these fun events with Main Street. Uh, again, I'm Anna Bell. We hope you have a wonderful day.